it's not having the right like container to be able to process like what's happening in your brain. So I always say that there's there's three major ways that you can try and figure out what's happening up, up here. The first one is where most people land and get really stuck, which is like they just think about their things all day long. And they're okay. thinking and they're spiraling and it's just rolling around in there and nothing, very, very rarely, does anything new or productive come from that. That's why people just feel stressed and overwhelmed yeah. all day because they're in yeah. here and it's just rolling and it's rolling. Yeah, and it's just heating up the, the air around yeah. them, but it's not really accomplishing anything no. moving forward. But it feels so productive. That's why people worry because it's like I'm doing something. Yes. See me thinking, see me worrying, see yes. me overwhelming. Yes. Yes. So that's mostly where people land. They just think and they think and they think. The other option to kind of process things out is talking. And so that can be really helpful depending on who you're talking to, um, the questions that they're asking, the space that they're holding, they might ask really good questions that help challenge a way of thinking that you've always had, um, give you a different perspective. But even with that, as you're talking and as you're processing, like our brains are still just being so quick. So like you're noticing how they're looking at you, if, you know, is this okay? You know, am I talking about this too long? Is this wrong? Should I, should I like, you know, tailor this? Should I change it? So talking is really good and it helps us get things out and understand it, but there's still some limitations that kind of hold us back and maybe don't allow us to see things fully even in that. 